Now that you've installed Data Loader on your computer and you've signed up for your free test environment, let's log in. The two Data Loader login methods are called OAuth and Password Authentication. OAuth launches a Salesforce login window from your default web browser, and Password Authentication prompts you to log in with your Salesforce credentials and a security token. Because Data Loader will be making API calls to your Salesforce environment from an external server, security protocol requires that you're able to confirm you have permission to do so. To satisfy this requirement, the OAuth login method sends a code to your browser compared to the password authentication method, which requires you to request, store, and reference your security token. OAuth is typically the faster and easier login method when you've already established a secure session. Do this by logging into Salesforce from your browser before you log into the data loader. Using the OAuth method to log into data loader when you want to load data into a sandbox uses the same process as production. Log into the Sandbox environment in your web browser first to establish the active connection, and then choose Sandbox as the data loader environment before logging in. Once you click the Login button, you'll see the code passed over and you'll log right in. I'm logged into the Salesforce environment already. From here, I'll choose any action on the data loader, which will prompt me to log in. I'll choose OAuth and select the environment of Sandbox and click Login. What this does is it sends a message over to the Sandbox I'll hit connect and then log into the environment, which will then create the connection to the sandbox. Now I'm ready to load data into the sandbox using Data Loader. If you're using the password authentication method to log into Data Loader and you don't already know your security token, you'll need to reset it before you can proceed. A security token is unique to your user record and unique to the environment, and it's not stored in such a way that it's visible for you to copy from within Salesforce. Navigate to your personal settings, locate the Reset My Security Token menu item, and click the Reset Security Token button. This prompts Salesforce to send you a new token in an email. The token is 24 digits of letters and numbers. Copy it and store it somewhere safe. From the Data Loader Password Authentication screen, paste the token after your Salesforce password, make sure you enter in the correct username, and then click the Login button. To log into a sandbox environment using password authentication, you'll need to know your sandbox security token. This is going to be different from your production token and from any other token tokens you've received from other sandboxes. Once you have your sandbox security token, you'll need to go through the same process of resetting it and then copying it from the email you receive. Once you have the token, choose the sandbox environment from the Salesforce data loader screen, enter your sandbox username, your sandbox password, append the sandbox token, and then click login. Let's walk through a live example. Enter in your sandbox username, append your sandbox security token after your password, Make sure you select the sandbox as your environment and then click login. Now you're ready to load data into the sandbox. If the reset security token option isn't available in your personal settings, it could be that there are IP restrictions on the login IP ranges, or that the network access is missing from security controls, or rarely that your user profile is corrupted. See the link Salesforce help article for more, from, for more information if this applies to you. A best practice you can follow to prevent login headaches is resetting the domain URL when you're done loading into a particular environment. Navigate to the data loader settings and scroll down to the host URL fields for production and for sandbox. If you see errors like destination URL not reset or fail to send request, you can typically resolve these by resetting those domain URLs. Go into the settings of the data loader and scroll down to find the host URLs. If you are finding that a specific sandbox is called out, you can change the login URL to be the generic one, like test.salesforce.com for a sandbox or login.salesforce.com for production. Click OK here and that will fix that issue. See the linked help pages for additional troubleshooting ideas. Up next, we'll talk through a few of the most common data loader login issues and how to resolve them.